Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. It's the third one this week, so catch up with the others if you if you missed it. Um, today we're gonna do another love and shout out episode. It's a long overdue one. Today I want to celebrate spectral lens. Let's go. So Spectral Lens is a virtual photographer that I really, really, really love. He's mostly active on X and also he's got a Flickr, so maybe you want to check it out. And uh, Spectral is really impressing me like on a daily basis for years now. So I want to dive a bit into his work and explain why I like it so much and why it resonates with me so much so let's check it out so if you scroll down spectral uh, twitter timeline you will find a variety of games and that's the first thing i love about him he's doing a lot of different games big games small indies he shoots everything and uh, seemingly with a lot of equal pleasure um, shooting small games, big games, getting a lot of attractions on his post or none. It looks like he really don't care. I don't know if, if he does, but it really looks like it. Like he can go from a Red Dead Redemption 2 set with uh, 380 likes to a, uh, a Flintlock one with less than 100 and the Gunk with 72. And you know, that's what I love. That's what I like to see. Uh, it's inspiring for me because sometimes we talked about this, <clears throat> uh, you know, the like thing that you, you, you want more likes and stuff like this might block you from shooting such or such game, which would be absolutely stupid. Guys, fa let's face it. And, and yeah, I really like to see people shooting a variety of games. And I discover a lot of games with Spectral, so that's that's really cool. Let's get closer to some of the, the, the shots I like the most. Spectral is a master at lighting. Like, really impressive light work. So, I do like people who have an, a universe, as people who have a style so strong that it, it goes uh, through every game they shoot super strong style of editing and also sometimes i find this a bit boring to do myself i i you know i don't want to just have everything looking the same depending on the game but spectral has a sweet spot with this he's able to really bring the game aesthetic and the game feel and at the same time put everything in, in a dark place, in a really dark mood with this super strong light work. So I admire this and I wish I was applied enough and consistent enough to, to develop this type of, of style, I guess. But I'm not, I'm not, I just can do this. So I like to have Spectral in my timeline so to remind me that it's possible. So look at this, this Alone in the Dark set, for instance. Not only the light will, will be great in every single shot, but Spectral also uses a lot of different angles and um, masterize the doff. A lot of really basic things that makes me love virtual photography so this shot is amazing the finger on the trigger come on it's perfect and something i really like he's doing is like super strong compositions like this it's it's really what i like to do myself so of course it speaks to me um i mean this one with the the skull and the face answering to each other it's it's perfect it's amazing using black and white for this and bringing the the two elements on the same plane kind of but still playing with the dove to to show the distance it's perfectly mastered it's perfectly mastered maybe just the balance of it like the, the skull is a bit too too close to the border compared to the face but you know i mean maybe 
no choice here. Black and white, he's super good at black and white. He's making some super strong and dramatic portraits in black and white. Love this one, for instance. But you see, after us, for instance, I never played this game. And I watch his shot and I want to play this game, definitely. I'm gonna check it out for sure. Uh, very intriguing. You know, solid portrait. Again, super impressive lighting here if you if you see the the jaw in the dark the the eyes super bright and everything framed with this beautiful white hair it's amazing it's amazing so light 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 everywhere if you if you check this one for instance or the next one the deer Everything is super well made, like the subject is perfectly enhanced all by the play of lights and uh, editing. Spectral is super good at editing and sometimes he gives some, some advices and tips like this little video showing how he uses two shots with two different light sources because in Alan Wake 2 you have only one light source possible and then just showing a simple trick on how to fusion both uh, layers to have a dual lighting um, shot. He's really good at Photoshop. I love that when he makes strong Photoshop edits, he mentions it. We talked about this in the last episode of Love and Shout Out with Takasan as well. And yeah, you can see some super amazing stuff like editing and um, creating a set with different colors and stuff. So he also got a sense of how to, to make a set on Twitter, which I love. Like if, if he puts two shots together, only two shots, it will have sense with those vertical compositions. And you know, here you, you can kind of have the back and forth uh, from the back of Spider-Man. And then so again, again, super strong angle and choices amazing amazing shots all around and also you can see some i mean if you know my work you know that that's what talk to me the most it's really this type of super straight uh framed shots this one is perfect on the the, the color palette as well a lot of thought went from this scene like look at this it's the exact same scene and he's looking for a different angle and he's making the choice of having this strong black uh, foreground uh, with a perfect blur on it. It's, it's so clean. It's so clean. I love it. Again, some super strong, amazing edits uh, with the, the color and the light on The Last of Us, for instance. And, you know, this one, I want to talk about this set for a bit. So, of course, you, ha you have some strong edits with the rain and stuff here. Amazing composition, super cool, uh, wow effect. Amazing. But that's not the shot that I like the most in this set. That's this one. This one is pure magic to me. Because I've been there. I've tried to make this exact same shot when, uh, when I started to play Spider-Man. So it was a long time ago. Um, I tried to use the shape of the, this building that is a bit, uh, you know, ov oval shaped to create a cool uh, composition and cool effect. And I, I don't know, maybe I, I'm going to pull out pull the, the shot I did back in the days. Um, but this one plays perfectly with it, with the position of Spider-Man. Of, co of course, the fact that it, he looks down there but also putting everything in dark like this and playing with the lines like this it's just perfect it's just perfect i want to cry when i see this shot because i love it so much and i didn't take it this this one tweet speaks to me i did the same kind of edit <laughs> with less skills on spider-man as well that reminds me of this one just for the effect um, he's got a good way and good skills to take old shots and make new edits, so it's never boring to watch, even if you remember the shot. Again, here you can see the amazing work on the orange tones and the purple-blue tones uh, of the hair. 
going really well in the in the background as well it's it's perfect you know he will take any game and will make it look as good as any other games um look at this one this portrait is amazing um not because it's the best texture we've seen on the face although it's decent not because it's the best hair thing we've seen but because the the density of elements in this shot the the, the intensity of the eye of the look of the light the dramatic light on the face with the rim light then the gun line pointing almost at us and uh, again a, a perfect doff management i wish i was that good okay i want i need to talk about this one i love this little shot because i have no idea how he did it so i was working as a capture artist for this game so i've tried a lot of different things and i have no idea how he got this position of an enki on the on the skull maybe he was able to just move <clears throat> enki from a different position to put it you know there i don't know i don't care it's amazing okay last shot i want to showcase this, this one because it encapsulate everything i said it's a very interesting shot with a cool edit with the fog effect um the lighting is on point because 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 usually you wouldn't think about this type of light you would put the light on the face on the hair of the character i don't know here it's really just on the body and putting the the whole head in the dark with just the rim light is such a perfect id i don't know how the id came up i don't know he if that was what he wanted straight from the start or if it just came up uh, alongside the, the the you know working on the shot but i'm always amazed at this type of capacity to just find this the the perfect spot to stop to say okay that's what i want um i don't know maybe you know sometimes it happens to me i i just have an idea in my head and by the the time you you get there because you set your lights and you find something you're oh wow it, it looks better like this and it takes some some skills actually to be self-aware of this and to be able to stop and not go where you wanted to go or at least take a shot in the in uh, on the way and then being able to work the the you know to make the better out of what, what's happening in front of you so spectral is amazing for that i recommend following him of course like bro if you don't follow him yet, you're missing out. You're missing out. It's an amazing um, source of inspiration and uh, knowledge. Again, you need to observe. Observe what other people do. Simple shot of Arthur, huh? Yeah, well, this little grass perfectly doffed in foreground are just making the shot. It's, it's this that makes the shot like different from every other look at this grain perfect use of grain here on the on the on the gun you know all these type of little details um the work on the textures the work on the doff the work on the composition of course uh it's never lazy and it's always perfectly executed sometimes i let myself go to easy shots you know for, of course because it's just fun and even easy edits or i'm not really pushing too too far because i want to share something i'm really you know i i kind of have this problem of i need to share something um and quick and i'm sure I mean, i'm not sure but i think spectral has this capacity of just waiting a bit working until the point he's really satisfied before sharing which uh, i i don't 
I don't do. <laughs> so, so Spectral, my man, you are amazing. I love your work. I want to be you. I want to be as skilled at, as you. I want to be as applied as you. I want to be as patient as you. And uh, yeah, I needed to to tell you that. Thank you for blessing my, my Twitter timeline all the time. And for your tips and retweets and likes on my own work. Love you, man. Thank you. Guys, that's it for today. Give Spectral a follow, of course. Check his work. Uh, be inspired by it. I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure when. Uh, I had some times this week, so that's why I put up so many videos. So catch up with what you missed. Uh, the last episode of uh, Love and Shout Out didn't do that well. Takasan. Uh, work was not celebrated as well as I hoped. So please take, have a look at this video as well if you haven't. And in the meantime, you guys keep being inspiring, keep being inspired, and of course, keep snapping. Bye.